Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Alrighty, good morning, 518. If you're just tuning in here, oh, this is Adam's special day because it <laughs> looks like two German Shepherds from here. At least one for sure. One for sure. Dog walking forecast. What are their names, Adam? L, Jesse, and then my favorite, Merlot, but spelled the Cajun. <laughs> Wait, way. are there three? There are. Oh, can't see them from here. Z one, U X, Merlot, oh, wow. two, three. And it's, yeah, M E R. L E A U X. Oh, sure. The Cajun touch to a nice red, beautiful, nice port wine. Yeah. I mean, you got three happy faces here. <laughs> of course, you know, I have my, my little soft spot for German Shepherd. So, yeah. how many do you have right now? Negative five. <laughs> Send them in. Send them in that. <laughs> oh, gosh. We got some great faces here, Alex and Scott. And I'm not just talking about you two. We have three other furry friends that are going to be helping us with that dog walking forecast. Unfortunately, last week, because of Francine, we weren't able to see all the furry friends. Don't worry, though. If your dog was scheduled for last week, we will be showing them coming up in October. So a little longer to wait. But hey, we are going to be looking at some pretty quiet conditions out there for the dog walk this morning. Those temperatures jumping up into the 70s to 80s by midday. Sun and clouds will mix. And then this afternoon, very similar to what we saw yesterday, pop up showers and storms will begin across the area. Now, not everyone will see the rain, but those that do, it'll help break that heat. But, you know, you go to walk your furry friends. It's going to be a pretty decent day out there, especially here in the morning time where things are quiet. Well, for the most part, you go offshore and we do have one pop up storm here south of the Cameron and Vermilion coastline. You can see that there are those lightning strikes showing up with this, but notice the movement. It's paralleling the Vermilion coastline, so this is not going to be moving inland. But, you know, if you're in Pecan Island, you look out to the south, you'll see some flashes of light in the sky. Otherwise, pretty quiet on future cast. Notice it's not really picking up on much. A couple of clouds here later on this morning. Now that green that you see is really just a moisture return. It's not actually rain that it's picking up on by midday. But this afternoon, different story. There you can see some pop up showers and storms. And according to this, 5 p.m., we get actually pretty stormy here south of I-10 along a boundary that settles into place. So we could see a good amount of rainfall in parts of the area later on today which is why you will need the umbrellas as you head out the door this morning. Not so much for the morning time, but certainly for the afternoon. Queen City of the Tash Camera in New Iberia. We're atop the Community First Bank building at Admiral Doyle and Lewis Streets. No sign of those lightning strikes out there right now. Temperatures sitting in the 60s and 70s. It is a warm and humid start by lunchtime today. Mid 80s with sun and clouds mixing. Isolated storm chance there by 1 o'clock. This afternoon will be near 90 degrees and those storms just really beginning to form up there between the 2 and 6 p.m. time frame. Now overnight will drop into the 70s once again and then tomorrow we're looking at that hot weather once again nearing that 90 degree mark where we are going to be tracking uh, those temperatures in the 90 degree mark or uh, where we will also be watching for one or two pop up storms, but overall pretty quiet conditions. So here's a look at the next seven days. Well, we have a few days of those shower and storm chances, but once we get to the end of this week and into the weekend, could actually see what we call a backdoor cold front, which is where instead of a front moving from west to east, it moves from east to west. So the Backdoor cooler air front. would be coming in from Georgia and Alabama rather than from Texas. Cool. Backdoor cold front. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it, or at least you will, and you will inform us. We all keep an eye and on it. You'll remind us what a backdoor cold front is. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> we Thanks, Adam. Will Monday morning. <laughs> well, we have an update this morning.